Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee back again with another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to make your own MOSFETs for your 3D printing. Um, my MOSFET like this one, you can buy these on Amazon or eBay for around $8 to $10. Um, this one and the other one I bought both went out. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with them, but I can still salvage this. This is a transistor here, and this is what you, is actually needed to help power your electronic components there. I'm using this as an on-off switch, which basically is what the 3D printer uses it for, to turn on your heated bed, your hot end, or lights, for instance, LEDs. And right now we're just making one completely from scratch because it's actually really easy to do. You can salvage parts from other things, like how I told you I was going to pull that, MOS, that transistor off of that MOSFET there. Um, I had an old ramps board also, and I pulled the MOSFETs off of here, the transistors off of here, and I kept them. I made them like this. Had some pin um, headers come out, so I could actually plug them into breadboards here. And um, this one I actually had just already lying around. I bought this a long time ago for another project and I just never got around to using them. So what you're gonna need for this is one transistor, a 10 ohm resistor, then some jumper wires if you're using a breadboard, and then 12 volt power source like from a PC, a PC power supply or your regular power supply that you, comes with your printer. You just wanna make sure that there's 12 volts at least going into your board there. And I'm using an LED light here to show you guys how it works. Um, so the first one, this is an MPN transistor, it's a bipolar transistor, so it, uses, it has a base collector and emitter on it. And the first one right here, all the way on your left hand side, is the base. The second one in the middle is your collector, and your third one here is the emitter. The, collect, the base is connected to your data pin and your 10 ohm resistor. And then your pin number two, which is the center pin, is actually just connected straight to the negative to your source which will be your actual fan or lights or the hot bed or hot end and then your last pin which is digital pin I mean which is pin number three is your emitter and that goes to your ground and it'll be for all your grounds which will be for the ground on your power supply the ground on your power supply or the and your ground for the heat from your actual motherboard and the ground to your resistor because you're going to need to connect the ground to the resistor and that's what this blue wire is for. So with that being said I do have my ramps board plugged into my computer using the USB there and we're going to use Pronter face and actually start running sending commands to your actual to your actual board here and the code is M capital M like in money 42 the number 42 dash um, space not dash space P for pin number and then it will be mine is on pin 6 on my ramps board which will be this pin right here is that the oh, second one over and then S for how much you're sending the signal out. So basically like how much you have from zero to 255 for basically adjusting the brightness or the, the power going outward to your source. So if I type in 255 and press enter, the lights come on. And then if I don't want them on or say I want to dim them, see that's really bright obviously. I'm sorry if you guys are looking at that bright light there. Um, if you just hit, like, say you want to dim it, so if it's from 0 to 255, let me just put 100. Type in 100, and you see that it got a little dimmer there, and then we type in 50. Got even more dimmer, and then if we typed in 20, even dimmer than that. So you guys can still kind of see it there. And you can shut them off also, you just have to type 0 for S. So after M42 space P06 space S000, it will shut it off. And um, this will work for any, any of your electronic components that runs 12 volts. So if you wanted to power a fan, for instance, you can do that off of here also. And this will set the maximum 
speed or RPMs will be 255 or you can bring it down to whatever you want it at and then the same thing goes for your hot end and your heated bed 255 will be the maximum heat that comes out of the uh, maximum temperature that comes out of each component there so other than that I mean, it's really simple. It didn't take me long to really get this working. I just had to figure out how to get it to work. But now that I figured everything out, I was able to make this setup for you guys. I hope you guys are liking the video. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. This is Legitly and I'm signing out.